Hi everyone, I'm sure you all had a beautiful holiday, the holiday of Shavuos to receive the Torah. We all received it together again this past Wednesday. The Parsha of this week that we're learning that's coming right after this holiday of Matan Torah is called Be'alotcha. What does Be'alotcha mean? This is the mitzvah. The command that God gives Aaron, the Cohen, that he has to kindle the menorah, kindle the candelabra. And as we know, that beautiful, special mitzvah that he got. He's that a candelabra, he's got seven candles. When he had to light up all seven candles, what does the seven candles represent? As we learn that these seven candles is different type of Jews, and we know generally seven different types of Jews from seven different ways and seven different levels. And Aaron was the one to light them up. And this is the duty of Aaron the Cohen to light up the neshama of every Jew from whatever kind you come, from whatever level you come. And the question has always been asked, why was it that Aaron was the one that he was commended to do so? Why specifically him? We know in the later generations there was others that did that. But right the first time, the mitzvah of lighting up the candelabra. That this means to light up the fire in every Jew. On every different type of Jew to be lit up as a fire. This was given to Aaron. Why so much to Aaron? Why was he so special? That he is the one that can do that particular mitzvah, that he is the one that can accomplish this particular mission to light up the fire in the menorah, to light up the fire in every Jew, that every soul, every nisham of a Jew, to be lit up, no matter from where you come from, from different walks of life. Why was it Aaron? And there's many, many explanations, but it's one very simple and beautiful explanation. One explanation is, as we just said, that to light a candelabra was not just to light a fire, was to light a fire in different types of Jews. And generally, as we said, it's in seven different types of Jews. And every one is different. And this is why we say it's different types of Jews. And some of them are even contradicting to each other. As we learn that some Jews, they represent the idea of kindness. And some Jews represent the idea of severity. And so on and so forth. And some Jews, unfortunately, may not represent. On all of them, he is the one to light them up. To light up their fire. To light the candelabra. Why him? One explanation is, in order to be able to light up the fire in every Jew, and to make it into one candelabra, to one menorah for Hashem. That all Jews together shall have a fire to God. You need a person that is straight, is Avat Israel. He straight is that he loves every Jew equally. And this was the beauty of Aaron, as we'll learn, that Aaron Rodef Shalom, Moef Shalom, Rodef Shalom. He was a person that ran after peace, he loved peace. He's the one, as we'll know about him, that he was the one that brought peace between all Jews. And this is why a person that's all a person of peace, that's a person that is love and caring to all Jews. A person like this, he is the one that he can light the fire of every Jew. All united, all is one, all is one candelabra. There's no contradictions, there's no differences. A person that has love to every single one, he is the person that can light the fire to every single one. And this is the message that God gives Aaron, you do it. In order to be able to light the fire in Jews, you have to have the love to all Jews. The love to every single Jew. No matter from which part of life does he come. And this is a beautiful connected. This parsha is right after Shavuot. Shavuot is the day that we know we have the Yorzeit, the Hilula of the Baal Shem Tov. And this was the Baal Shem Tov as we know. Why was his beauty? How was he able to the Hasidus? That he spread in the world to light up the fire in all Jews. This was the Baal Shem Tov where all know his history. That he took all of Israel and light up the fire in all of them. But how did he do it? Why was he straight? Why was his beauty? He cared and loved for every Jew. 
Let's all take that message to us. In order to be able to light up the Jewish nation, to light up every single Jew, we have to begin and start by having the love and caring for all Jews. Good Shabbos. Shabbat Shalom to all of you.